Let's work with this graph in this video. So let's have a look at this range between 0 and 5 over 6. We said that the cats are gonna invest in the lenses, meaning that for sure cats are gonna interact with cats. So the value, the expected value of cats here is gonna be equal to 6. And since cats interact with cats, dogs have no one to interact except for dogs. So, so the expected value for dogs is gonna be equal to 4 because of the payoff. We know that dogs with dogs are gonna have for in um, in uh, payoffs. So that would be the value when interacting dogs with dogs. We know that here. But the question is what happens here when we have no lenses? Here we have the risk. We have to take into account the probability of meeting dogs and cats together. Well, we saw that the expected value, let me change colors. We saw that the expected value of a cat on this range, the expected value of a cat on this range, when she does not invest in the lenses from here is 6x. We calculate it. The question is what's gonna be the expected value of a dog over here? Well, we know that the dog is gonna have the same, uh, for, for dogs we have the same method of calculating. With the probability x, they're gonna interact with the cats and they are gonna dominate, so they'll get all the payoff, eight, plus the other probability they interact with dogs like them and they would get the payoff of four. So he will get four, because remember, dogs and dogs, for each other, four for each. Let's solve this expected value to see what we have. Uh, let's go a bit to the right. So over here, eight x plus four times one is four minus four x is equal to four x plus four. So that would be the expected value of the dogs on this range. Now the question is, which one is higher, the expected value of the cats or the expected value of the dogs? Now on here it's pretty clear, we can see that the expected value of cats is 6 which is higher than the dogs. Here cats are better off, so here cats dominate in sense of utility, they are better off. Let's have a look on this range over here, 6x and 4x plus 4. Even at the indifference point of 5 over 6, what's gonna be the expected value for the cats and for the dogs? For the cats we would have 6 times 5 over 6 which is equal to 5 units and for the dogs we would have we would have 4 times 5 over 6 plus 4 which is equal to which is equal to uh, let me do it by let me do it by hand real quick 20 over 6 plus 4 4 is the same as 24 over 6 let me go below 4 is the same as 24 over 6, so that's equal to 20 over 6 plus 24 over 6, that's equal to 44 divided by 6, and 44 divided by 6 is equal to 7.33, so even, even starting at this level of 5 over 6, we can see already that the expected value of the dogs is higher than the expected value of the cats, 7, uh, 7 I wanted to say here 7.33. 7.33 is higher than 5. So even at this level, the dogs are going to be better off. And obviously, if you're going to increase the x, if we're going to increase the x, we are going to have the same pattern that the dogs are better off than the cats. So to sum up, the the range between 5 over 6 and 1 for this ratio, for this probability of having cats, the dogs are better off. And intuitively, intuitively, does it make sense? It does, because on this range we would have so many cats that the likelihood of dogs to interact with cats and dominate is much higher. So they are more likely to meet cats, dominate, get the eight, uh, eight units of uh, value and move on. That's the idea. So let me just write a, a short sentence. Likelihood of meeting cats is higher of meeting cats is higher here, meaning that uh, there is a higher probability of getting eight units of value. And that's why dogs are better off on this range. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we're gonna answer part B of the question.